The show Deadliest Catch is incomplete without Captain Sig Hansen and this team risking their lives on a ship in the middle of a deadly ocean. Throughout his tenure on the hit fishing show, Deadliest Catch, Captain Sig Hansen has solidified himself as one of the most famous faces in his field. But how much Sig Hansen and his team gets paid from this TV show? And how rich is Captain Sig Hansen? Is it the crab pots or the camera crew that ignites his fortune? Let's untangle Sig's net worth and uncover his surprising income sources. On April 28, 1966, Hailing from a long line of fishermen in Norway, Sigurd Johnny Hansen was born in Seattle. He has two younger brothers and attended Shorewood High School in Shoreline, Washington, and at the age of 14, he began working on his father's fishing boat, and after completing high school, he went fishing full-time. It was at this time that Sig Hansen got to know the waters of Alaska and the Bering Sea. At this point, he was appointed relief captain of Northwestern at the tender age of 22. After four years, he took full-time captaincy of the boat, becoming one of the youngest captains in history. In no time, Sig had established a reputation for being a tough captain who doesn't put up with fools or betrayal. Since his early days leading the Northwestern, he understood that his future in the captain's chair is entirely dependent on performance. You can see it as, if you are not successful in bringing home the fish, you go back to work as a deckhand. However, captain's fishing career is interesting and you might not want to miss it. As time passed, Sig Hansen advanced through the Northwestern's ranks to take on the role of relief skipper. He assumed full-time command of the ship at the age of 24. The ship has had a stellar safety and gross production record while he has been in command. Out of all the ships on deadliest catch, the Northwestern made the most money in 2005 and 2006. But that's not all. In the year 2020, the captain announced that his fishing operations were being negatively impacted by the coronavirus outbreak. He said that he was spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on boat maintenance in order to get ready for the next months, even while he acknowledged that he was fortunate to be able to continue fishing and earn money. In his role as the Hansen Patriarch, Sig remains fiercely protective of his top producing operation, his reputation, and his crew. But then, the past several seasons have tested the resolve of the stalwart Captain Sig. From suffering a major heart attack to losing a close friend in the tragic sinking of the FV destination, Captain Sig has battered the blows of a career on the sea. Sig has surely made quite a bit of money through his work on the show, which consistently ranks as one of the top performing shows on the Discovery Channel, as well as outside of the show as an expert fishing captain. Although he is a humble fishing boat captain, Sig's career as one of the stars of Deadliest Catch has netted him more than just fish. Indeed, he has accrued an impressive net worth that reflects his long, hard work over the years on television. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Sig is worth around $4 million. Now here a question arises. How much does Sig make per episode of Deadliest Catch? Well, working as a fishing boat captain is definitely a high-risk, high-reward situation. It is reported that captains can earn more than $200,000 a year, and crew members can earn as much as $50,000 over the course of the three-month crab season the two most active months being October and January. However, that doesn't include their salary from being on the show either, which means they're bringing home quite a pretty penny. Besides that, Sig's position is also unique because he's not only a cast member on the show, but also a technical advisor. This means that he offers valuable insight to producers and editors to ensure that the show does a good job of explaining exactly what is happening and why. Between his fishing proceeds, his double-barreled roles on Deadliest Catch, and his new spin-off show, it's safe to say that Sig is bringing home the bacon, in addition to all of those fish. The bottom line is, Sig has been working in the fishing industry for virtually his entire life. So, he has the right to enjoy all this fortune today. On top of that, Sig is passing his love of fishing on to the next generation. His daughter Mandy Hansen has taken on a prominent role on Deadliest Catch and seems poised to carry her father's legacy on for years to come. A student of the Maritime Institute in San Diego, Mandy is doubling down on her love for the sea via both real-world and classroom experiences on the subject. On the original show, Mandy can often be seen piloting the FV Northwestern and bouncing ideas off her husband, deckhand Clark Pedersen. 
Whether it be quick decision-making, navigating through storms, or learning the technical side of things with the ship, Mandy is clearly making her father proud with her hard work and continuation of the family business. Oh, and yes, we almost forgot to mention the details regarding Sig's personal life. Reportedly, Sig Hansen married Lisa Ekstrom in 1987, and they have a biological daughter named Melissa Ekstrom. He is currently married to June Hansen and has two daughters, Mandy and Nina. In 2016, Hansen experienced a heart attack which was documented on Deadliest Catch. After he divorced his first wife, a legal battle resulted in Hansen not being allowed to see his daughter. He later abandoned his parental rights, and he is now separated from his daughter. Apart from this, Captain Sig has struggled with various health concerns over the course of his life. Many of these issues are allegedly caused by his famous smoking habit. In one episode, it was revealed that Hansen's smoking habit over the years cost him approximately the price of an average house. However, Sig has been the center of controversies throughout his career. In 2017, it was reported that one of Sig Hansen's estranged daughters had accused her father of sexual abuse. According to her, the alleged incidents dated back to a period when she was just two years old. Sig Hansen denied all of the accusations leveled against him, and the court case was dropped due to insufficient evidence. In 2018, Sig Hansen pled guilty to a crime assault charge related to an incident where the deadliest catch star spat on an Uber driver. He later apologized to the Uber driver for the argument. People often say that Sig Hansen is the richest captain in the history because reportedly he brings in an annual salary of $500,000 to $1 million. And that is a huge amount. It's clear that Captain Sig Hansen's status as the richest captain on Deadliest Catch is from the crab fishing prowess he learned during his teen years. While he managed to become a success story, it hasn't always been easy or lucrative. He told Channel Guide magazine that making money this way is scary and uncertain. In reflecting on his Norwegian heritage and the traditions of his community, Captain Sig Hansen emphasized the inherent challenges of a fisherman's life. He spoke of the perilous nature of the profession, coupled with its volatile economic landscape, where livelihoods hang in the balance with each passing season. Recounting the recent government shutdown's impact on seafood prices, he underscored the unpredictability that defines the industry. Regardless of its allure, Hansen acknowledged that this rugged lifestyle isn't suited for everyone, advocating for the stability and security of alternative career paths. Let us stress, it's no joke. Crab boats are extremely expensive to purchase and maintain. The boat seen on Deadliest Catch can reportedly cost several million dollars to build. The 150-foot Alaskan Enterprise, one of the largest boats, was over $2 million to construct. Smaller boats can still cost well over $100,000 to $160,000 to purchase used. The boat is just one expense, too. The crab pots are thousands of dollars each, and the licenses for fishing crab where Deadliest Catch is filmed can cost up to $7 million. Through a variety of business ventures, Hansen expands his brand outside the deck of his ship. Sales of merchandise, such as clothing and mementos bearing Northwestern's famous emblem, bring in a sizable profit by taking advantage of the show's devoted fan following. His revenue is further increased by endorsements, speaking engagements, and public appearances, as fans beg to interact with the iconic captain in person. Hansen's television career has been successful, and his appearance on Deadliest Catch has made him a household figure. Hansen, one of the most enduring and popular characters on the show, is paid a lot for his work on screen persona and contributions to the series' long-term popularity. Hansen also uses his fame and industry connections to his advantage to land sponsorship opportunities and collaborations. Partnerships with producers of fishing gear, seafood companies, and other marine-related enterprises enable him to increase his influence in the commercial fishing industry while generating additional revenue. On top of tracking the personal lives of the crew members and the moments they share, the show focuses on the crew's tragedies and the risks they take. Crab fishermen have a dangerous job, and what happens off-camera is just as interesting as what you see on TV. A reality show receiving many Emmy nominations is unusual, yet Deadliest Catch has received multiple nominations for renowned awards in various categories. The series was nominated for an Emmy for the first time in 2007, when it received an incredible four nominations, one of which was for cinematography. Since then, Deadliest Catch has received 16 award wins out of 51 nominations. That's a significant number of nominations and wins for any TV series, but it's especially noteworthy for a reality show. 
It seems that fans of the show are in the minority. But that's not all. The show is causing problems in Alaska. Alaskans have grown a little tired of the shooting. Because the boats on the show are outperforming local fishermen, they are finding it difficult to make a livelihood. The fishermen who have managed to stay on the job are making roughly minimum pay, which is far less than most other workers. And this is concerning for those who are trying their best to make both ends meet. There's a lot more competition than normal because of the Discovery Channel-funded fishing expeditions. Resources are dwindling and pay rates are being dragged down for regular guys who aren't fishermen on the show. And those guys are paid very well. On the other hand, climate change has an impact on the show lately. The water has experienced a four-degree rise in temperature, which has displaced much of the crab population in the area. To continue fishing, boats have had to move to different areas of the ocean, often facing bigger storms while they are farther out and harder to rescue. Although the show steers clear of any political discussion of climate change, they can't get away from its impact. The moon's effect on the tide is the real problem. But how? Well, there's no question that the moon affects tides and tides affect fishing crews. A lunar event called a supermoon is especially dangerous for fishermen. During a supermoon, a full moon is as close to the Earth as possible, making it look enormous. Apart from this, the camera crew sails alongside them, braving all the same conditions. In fact, they spend so much time together, the fishermen and the camera crew tend to become close and develop friendships. Working on the show is a risk, no matter what your job requires. Because the camera crew has to catch everything that's happening, they stay close to the fishermen as they perform the deadliest parts of their job. Everyone on board puts their life at risk, and many people end up with injuries. Coming back to his journey of rough waves, in 2011, he assumed the role of full-time captain for the Opilio Crab and King Crab seasons, with his brothers Norman and Edgar assisting him as a deckhand and deck boss, respectively. He joined the cast of Deadliest Catch in 2005, featuring in all of its 13 seasons. Moreover, he has appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, competed on The Celebrity Apprentice, and voiced the character Krabby in the animated film Cars 2. But that's not all. He co-authored a book, North by Northwestern, with Mark Sundin, which was published in 2010. It is a memoir and adventure tale that details the story of Sig Hansen and his family's experiences in the crab fishing industry. The book has received positive reviews, with readers appreciating the gripping narrative that brings them into the world of the Hansen family and their connection to the sea. While the exact number of copies sold cannot be mentioned, its massive popularity and positive reviews indicate a notable level of sales. It's pretty obvious you can predict how accomplished Sig is from all these details. His major honor lies in his successful fishing career, leading to his role in Deadliest Catch. He was inducted into the Scandinavian American Hall of Fame alongside Bobby V and Doc Severinsen in 2014. Likewise, Deadliest Catch has won an Emmy Award. With every new season, the show has attracted millions of people and has continuously been one of Discovery Channel's top-rated shows since its 2005 debut. Deadliest Catch is unique because of its unadulterated reality and gripping narrative, which gives viewers a close-up look at the dangerous life of crab fishermen as they flee the fury of the natural world in search of their riches. Episode after episode, fans are gripped by the show's dramatic intensity, which is driven by the ever-present fear of danger and the friendship among its vibrant group of characters. As the old guard increasingly gives way to the young guns with each passing season, inevitable questions for Sig loom large. At what point will Sig resign the chair and pass the boat onto the next generation of Hansons? Will Sig ever surrender the role that has defined him and upon which he has built his legacy? Who knows? To always stay updated about your favorite TV personalities, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon.